Hello, this is Timothy Perfit from Two Canoe Software, and I'm excited today to show you a preview of the new MDM integration inside of MDS. This is going to be coming out in MDS 2.0, and not only have we integrated MDM, but we also have full integration with the device enrollment program. So if you're using Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager, you'll now be able to uh, use um, MDS to be able to uh, import those and send profiles and commands and um, kind of manage the, uh, the first initial setup process. So let me show you how it works. I'll launch MDS, an early build of it. And the first thing you'll notice, it has a new MDM icon. So I click on it. Uh, first thing uh, on the left side is start. So let's just click on start. It says, hey, there's no MDM configuration. So you have to click on setup. And uh, the setup we want to make very easy. So it automatically populates the, the DNS name of this machine that I'm running it on. It currently doesn't have a DNS name uh, assigned to it. It just uses the bonjour name, which is fine for what we're doing, what we're doing, because everything's on the local network. And it runs on port 8443, which is an unprivileged port, which means you don't need administrative rights to do it. It does need to run over SSL. So we do need to create a, uh, either import an SSL certificate that you've, uh, but you've, uh, you've requested and you can select the, the certificate and private key here or it works just fine with a self-signed certificate. So we'll go ahead and, and create one. Um, it verifies that the DNS name is correct because that's going to be on the certificate and how long you want the certificate valid for. So that's fine. We'll just save it and we'll save it into documents. And the next thing it does is it requests you to trust the certificate in root store. Otherwise things don't work very well. So we'll go ahead and just copy and paste that command. And now it, that certificate is now trusted in the certificate store. You can actually go into Keychain Access and, and trust it yourself if you wanted to, but that command makes it easy. So that's it. It's now configured. Um, and it says, hey, you've got a configured MDM service. Do you want to start it? So we'll say, sure, go ahead and start it. Um, but we're not able to send push notifications to the clients to be able to um, actually con for, to tell them to contact the MDM service. So uh, next thing we'll do is just to click on import push server certificate. And it looks at the keychain and says, hey, I've discovered that you are you have an identity there that's uh, available for Apple push notification services for MDM. So I'll just choose that and I'll put in my uh, administrative password. And now it's been, uh, the push certificates enroll are, has been imported and it's ready to go. So if I open up the enrollment page, I can actually point a client to this and click on enroll device can see that the uh, certificate or the mobile config is there to enroll it. And it also is over eight, it's over SSL port 8443 and we have the certificate that we created. So that's all set up. So now we have a fully functional MDM service. We can send um, commands to as well as, you know, all the MDM activities or yeah, MDM activities. But that's, let's not stop there. We want to actually enroll in uh, or uh, integrate MD, MD S with um, the DEP or the Apple School Manager uh, or Apple Business Manager device enrollment. So we go back to configure and the way that device enrollment works, pretty simple, you save a public key, you upload, upload that to Apple's portal and then you download a token that allows you to talk to it. So let's just save the public key and we'll call this uh, demo to uh, public key and I'll save it on my desktop. And that says it's been exported. Now go to Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager to upload it. And I'm already actually signed in. Oh, no, I'm not. Let me go back to uh, business.apple.com. There it is. And I'll go to settings. And I already have an MDM server defined here. I'll edit the settings and I'll upload the, um, the public key. Okay, it's uploaded and I'll apply it. Now I'll download the token. The token allows me to talk to um, device enrollment. So I'll download that key. And all we need to do is go back into MDS and import that key. So I'll just find it here in my downloads and I'll drag it over there and select it. All right, now we're done. So we can actually talk to the portal now. So if I click on refresh, I should see my three devices that I have defined inside the portal, inside of device enrollment, which I do. So now we want to, we're ready to have a client, a fresh client, one of these serial numbers, go ahead and start up and then it should get its configuration from our MDM server based on the settings uh, in the device enrollment. So we can change, start some initial settings. So there's the DEP profile, which allows you to specify these 
initial setting. So it's the pro, you know, profile name, before us, uh, support number. Let's just do uh, 630-555-1212. And let's put support at twocanoes.com here. And here's the, uh, the MDM server URL that's spaced on your DNS name. That's fine. Um, we want to include the MDM certificate for Anchor because we're using self-signed and we can allow them to remove it. And then we'll say we want to skip everything, but maybe uh, the appearance. We'll leave the appearance on. So then I'll click on update. That's actually uh, uh, saved and put onto the portal. So that will be given out to, oh, no, I'm sorry. It's uh, uploaded to the MDM server and that'll be given out to clients when they get it. So uh, we're ready to actually uh, start up a client and see what happens. So let me clean up the windows here. And I have a virtual machine that has a serial number that's enrolled in MDM. And so I will let that start up. And what we're expecting to see is this should be able to communicate to the uh, uh, to communicate device enrollment, see that, hey, there's an MDM server configured, goes to our MDM server, gets the setup for, um, uh, gets the setup for that initial configuration, and then is enrolled in MDM. All right, you can see here in our network adapter, it's under bridged. So that's set, so it should be able to com communicate with the outside world as well as to my MDM server or the MDS server, MDM service on MDS. So hopefully it'll go through and show the uh, correct setup assistant. So you got the first two screens with welcome, one, two, and I did detect remote management. We'll do learn more about. You can see that it has our information, has that phone number they put in, 630-555-1212. And uh, I'll click on okay, and then I'll go to continue. And now it's going and it's contacting it. And I still have to create a user account that was expected. And it did choose your look because that's one thing we did do it. I could do dark mode, but I'm going to do light mode instead. And I'll continue. And there it is. It's now fully configured. And we'll let this log in and then I'll show you that it has the enrollment profile assigned or the mobile config assigned so go up to system preferences and I'll go to profiles and you can see that it is enrolled um, next thing we'll do is show you can I'll refresh my MDM list you can see the UDID has been assigned and its enrollment status has been changed to one we also can send the beginnings of a few commands. We're going to obviously implement more of them, but right now we can do the restart or shutdown. So let me go ahead and just send the restart command from MDS. It says, do you want to? Command is sent. And then you can see that the Mac is now restarting. So um, that is the uh, beginnings of MDM and DEP uh, support in uh, MDS. So thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe. Um, as well as visit our website at twocanoes.com slash MDS um, to learn more. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.